I'm Richard Gamble from the Wall of Answered Prayer. You're watching Visions TV online. Hi, you're with Shireen from Visions TV Online. We're here at the Big Church Day Out and I'm here with Richard Gamble. I'm, I want to find out from Richard Gamble exactly what your future plans are because I saw something amazing building um, inside and I was like, wow, what is that? And I just want you to let everyone know a bit more about what it is you're doing and what you hope to happen. Well, we're building a national landmark about Jesus. Not, not a small undertaking, but uh, God gave me the vision 15 years ago sort of had 10 years praying about it and then been working on it on the last five years. So the idea is that it will be made of a million bricks, it will be an architectural sculpture, so it looks like a giant Mobius strip and it goes about 50 metres high into the skyline and the idea is that every brick will represent an answered prayer because we want to communicate to this nation that Jesus is alive that he listens and he answers prayer. So people who will be intrigued by the design, it's like a giant arch and will be seen from three motorways up to six miles away. But when people come and visit, they'll be able to put their phone up against a brick, their phone will light up and it will tell them a story of the answer prayer that that brick represents. Because we're calling it like a, a, a landmark of hope. We want people who maybe they've been in situations where they can't see a way out, but they'll be able to type into an app or into a touch screen what they're going through. And then, it, and then the app will show them all the different places around the structure where people have got answer prayers similar to their story, where people have asked the God who answers. How amazing is that? It's kind of like the modern technology put into a building. And um, as you were describing, like God gave you the vision and it, it's been 15 years, kind of started to, to think of Noah's Ark. So in a way, so um, obviously he was told what to do and then he just started to do what God told him to do, regardless of what everyone else said. Can you tell me a bit about your journey? Like, how have you found that? Well, I mean, that's the second time I've been compared to Noah this week. Sorry, sorry. You know, I think it's because I'm slightly, you know, the, the grey beard's kicking in. And it's been tough because you know, you, you, you believe God said something to you. The important thing, number one, is timing. So it was 10 years just waiting for God to give me the green light. And, and I was so believing in it that I thought everybody was gonna go, this is amazing, let's get on it. And, and of course that doesn't happen because the reason it doesn't happen is God's got a bit of journey to go with you to sort of refine you and shape you and, and get you there. And, the big lesson that I've learned is to trust in him and him alone. Don't trust in my abilities. Don't trust in the people around me. Um, don't, don't, don't trust in circumstances. You know, I'm, I'm on stage at Big Church Day Out in a few minutes, you know, but whether I get zero response or everybody responding completely does not change the fact that God wants to do this. I mean, we've had an amazing story where I, uh, a lady in our intercession team believed that God spoke to her about exactly where the land was. And so she circled a map, emailed me and said, either this is the land or the person who owns it is highly significant. What she didn't know was two weeks previous, the person who owned that land had emailed me and asked to me. And then, I know, and then I meet with him and then I find out that six months before God gave me the vision, so 15 and a half years ago, he felt God tell him to start a trust fund with one of the aims being to build a national landmark about Jesus. Even this is testimony itself. I can hear, almost hear God speaking to me. How amazing would it be? So how amazing would it be for somebody just to go and say, oh God, I need you right now. I need to see where you are right now. I need to see evidence of you and then be able to just touch into that. So I'm, I'm sold. <laughs> so, so listen, what we need is we need people to share your story. If God has spoken to you, if God has um, answered a prayer, 
why not share that story that's going to bless somebody else in the next generation? Deuteronomy 4 verse 9 says, Consider your the things your eyes have seen. Don't let it fade from your heart or your memory and make sure that your children and your children's children know it. And I think the Wall of Answer Prayer is a great way to do that. So you can, you can uh, go on to thewall.org.uk and you'll be able to see the multiple ways that you can share your story of answer prayer with the generations to come. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you.